Howdy doody everybody, my name is Kev Gooey and welcome back to Anime Studio Simulator. If you missed the last episode, you can click on the eye on top of the video to watch the previous episode to get caught up. Now we're in week 4. Ooh, let's see how the anime status is going. Okay, so... Animation is good because we outsourced that. Music is... We still need some voice acting. Uh, yeah. Everything else seems alright. Music is a uh, e. Member status. Happiness is up. Stress is middle, middle. Happiness is up. Okay, that's good. So let's see. So we do need. We need more monies. And okay, we still need to raise more funds. Sadly, but uh. Okay, we still need to do that. And I think everyone can. Udo. What's uh, her proficiency? Okay. So practice? Stress. How's your stress? In the middle. Yeah, I think I, I think everyone can just practice for now. Yeah, I think this is good. Outsource, we don't need any outsourcing right now. What about, uh, let's see, more details. Okay, upgrades. We're recovering a short intensive leadership. Okay, here you go with a professional artist in the anime industry. Let's see the status. Proficiency. I think we need... Hmm, I think you probably need some better management, though. Eek, I mean, that's, we still need money, but... I think, that, I think that's... Will help? Yeah. I don't know. At our current rate, we don't have enough money to outsource the animation work. But but we have one star. Okay. This is a huge problem. We could stall the entire project. Uh-oh. And according to our current schedule, we need to hire animators within the next two weeks or we won't make it in time. Not to mention our art assets were delayed when Sumiko fell sick. Maybe we should hire free freelancers so we can complete it on time. It'll be a hassle, but it might be worth it. I'll look online for new investors, too. Alright. Oh, hello. Sumiko is back. Oh, she looks kind of sick. Still. I'm sorry. This is all my fault. If I had taken better care of myself, I wouldn't have gotten sick and we wouldn't be in this situation. Hey, you can't blame yourself. You can't control sickness. With a gloomy look on her face, Sumiko apologizes repeatedly to Yukari and Mayumi. Until Shansuke interrupts her. Not your fault, Sumiko. You're only trying to work hard on Echi Hentai Love. Maybe we share the blame for not noticing you were overworked. We're all responsible for the current situation, so don't be too hard on yourself. Yeah, you shouldn't be too hard on yourself. Pessimism will be our undoing. We should focus on what we can do now, not what we can't. That is, that is a life lesson right there, guys. I agree. Worrying all day won't accomplish anything. Let's get some work done. Despite Yukari and Shunsuke's words, tension lingers in the air. No matter what they say, the problems remain. Aw. She rubs her head. If they don't relax, it will start to affect their work. Then they'll have an even bigger problem. There must be a way to put them at ease. Yukari thinks about it and decides to focus on... Hmm. Well, we actually need to raise funds. And well... We do need to draw storyboards for the anime, though. 17 is okie dokie. We only raised two dollars, right? So let's see. We do need funds. Let's raise funds. Funding will solve their problem quicker than anything else. Yukari spends the rest of the day trying to contact investors to pitch Echi Hentai Love to them and hopefully raise additional funds. Ooh, hopefully. Wow, there's a promotion on the ground coffee. And even though the matcha isn't on sale, it's still being sold at a good price. I've already spent a lot of this month's pantry budget, though. Not every day that the cafe has such an amazing offer. I better pick one. Not, on not if I only I could remember if the others prefer coffee or tea. Oh. Well, let's see. I'm trying to think of what the rest of the people like. Then, let's see, tea? Coffee. Okay, so coffee. We like coffee. Mayumi likes coffee. Tea? I'm pretty sure everyone likes tea. 
like a tea. There's nothing like a nice cup of tea. Ha ha! Yeah! Woohoo! Thanks, Yukari! Aw, oh, you brought tea but no coffee. Well, I mean... Hmm. Hugo says nothing but her shoulders slump and she sighs. Uh-oh. Hmm. Oh, so that's the choice thing. Really? Sorry, it's really hard to please everyone. That's true. Mayumi, could you spare a few minutes tonight? I need to talk to you. Of course, actually I was hoping we'd talk soon. It'd be good for you to open up to someone about what's bothering you. You're right, it's getting to be too much. This gloomy atmosphere is unbearable. I feel like it's impossible to be optimistic. Think of it as a test of our strength. Other people, maybe even people who created popular anime, probably faced similar issues in the past. We made it, and we will too. Yeah. I hope so. I'm certain of it. Can you spread your optimism to Yuko and Sumiko? They seem really stressed out. If we let things continue like this, I'm afraid everything will fall to pieces. Don't worry, we'll discuss everything tonight. Yay! That promise sustains Yukari through a stressful day at the studio. When night comes, she meets up with Mayumi, so they can talk over dinner. So what do you want to talk about? A few things, but mainly the morale of the group. Hmm... I don't quite understand why Yugo and Sumiko still seem so down. It's not their fault. We even told Sumiko our right not to blame herself. Am I missing something? It's pretty simple. Even if they know we don't blame them, they still feel responsible. The delayed art assets and Sumiko's sickness put us behind schedule. Oh man. They are as enthusiastic about Etchi hentai love as any of us. Imagine how you'd feel if your role in the project was what delayed us. Yeah, I'd feel horrible. Anyone would. I'll talk to them. Maybe I can cheer them up. Aw, please do. Sounds like an awesome idea. I'd talk to them with you, but I probably wouldn't be any good at it. I'm too stressed out about raising funds. I haven't even done enough work on the storyboards because I can't stop worrying. I keep thinking, what if we don't raise enough money? Will we have to shut down the project even after all the work we put into it? Well, can't, can't be, you know, pessimistic. You're overthinking it. Don't worry. In the worst case scenario, we'll use our savings to stay afloat until we get investments. But uh, what savings? We aren't going to give up that easily. Thanks. That makes me feel a lot better. Anytime. Yay! And thanks for always being there for me. I wouldn't know what to do without you. That's what best friends are for, right? That is. Yuhari smiles. Talking to Mayumi has lifted a weight from her shoulders. She can breathe easier now. By the way, if we want to start animating the characters next week, we will need to ask Yuko to increase the pace of her work. Oh, I checked our art assets and there's quite a bit of work untouched. I know this is a bad time to pressure her, but... I understand, we need to do what's best for Echi Hentai Love. I'll tire tomorrow, be sure to talk to her and Sumiko soon. If they're already feeling down, it might be hard for them to cope with extra pressure. Don't worry, I will. Hmm, I know I can count on you. I don't know, this is going to be tough. Uh-oh. The studio's doorbell rings. I'll get it. He opens the door, speaks to the person outside for a moment, and then turns back to the group. Wow, Yukari, you're so thoughtful. What? What was that? Check it out, guys. There's fries, so did it more. Ooh. Things yourself. I didn't order this, but everyone seems so happy. What should I do? Um... Well, I mean, we don't want the wrong person to get angry. Because it is someone else's food. We didn't order it. Let me write to the delivery person that he's at the wrong address. Sorry, but I'm afraid this isn't ours. You must have gotten the wrong address. But, but... Sorry, guys. We have to be honest. Honestly, he doesn't fill an empty stomach. Yeah, but... Someone's... I'm, I'm pretty sure someone's bound to, like, come, come over to us and be like, You have our food or something. I don't know. Yuko, what's the status of the character designs? Sad characters are almost done. We only have a few left to go. Then they'll need some minor touch-ups here and there. How long do you think it would take to finish everything? They should be ready next week. Is there any way you can finish them sooner? We have to start outsourcing the animation next week. But, but I already did outsource the animation. It will take time to set things up with the studio, so we need to have the characters ready. I know it's a lot to ask, especially since you covered Sumiko's work when she was sick, but I need you to work harder. I understand. I'll take care of it. Oh man, so much pressure. Just don't neglect your health due to work, okay? We have to pull through this together. I won't. I wouldn't want to delay us by getting sick. No, I didn't mean it like that. I meant for your own sake. You're not, but Yukari can tell she's only disheartened her further. 
Hikari sighs and returns to her desk. Maybe Mayumi can salvage that situation. As Yukari gets back to work, an email notification pops up. Checks it, and her heart leaps. From one of the investors who she contacted. And he's interested in Echi Hentai Love. Yes, someone is, is interested in it. We're going to get funding. Yeah. Yes. Yukari's exclamation attracts Sun Suke's attention. Oh? What is it? Did we secure new investors? Not yet, but one of the investors I tried to get in touch with replied to me. He's from a notable company too. If we manage to clinch this deal, we won't have to worry about money anymore. So is it the one that we call the customer service? See? All your hard work paid off in the end. I'm sure you'll convince him and bring him on board with us. I hope so. He seems really interested. He has to meet up with me so we can discuss Echi Hentai Love. He beams at the team, hardly able to contain her excitement. I think this is the moment we've been waiting for. Hooray! As the others talk about how exciting it is to finally have a new source of funding within sight, Jar gathers up all the documents she'll need to show the investor. Any luck? They'll convince them Echi Hentai Love is worth it. It's do or die. Once she has the documents packed up, she replies to the email and asks them if they can meet for lunch to discuss Echi Hentai Love. Yeah! She holds her breath as she hits send, and then she waits. And waits. Since it took him so long to reply to her initial email, she tries not to get too impatient. Instead, she practices in her mind what she wants to say to him. After work, Ayumi approaches Yuko and Sumiko. Kari tosses her a relieved smile and then leaves so they can speak in private. A few hours later, Yukari receives two messages. The first is from Mayumi about the outcome of her chat with Yuko and Sumiko. I hope it's okay. She cleared up their concerns and both sisters left the studio feeling recharged, energized, and ready to finish the art for Echi Hentai Love. Hooray! The second is from the investor, asking if they can meet up on Friday. Ooh! My heart's pounding. Do you think I should offer to foot the bill for lunch? Those things don't matter. Remember why you're going there. You need to convince him it's a great idea to invest in Echi Hentai Love. I want to make a good impression. You're overthinking this. You'd be better off thinking about the kinds of questions he'll ask. That's true. After all, it'd be really awkward if you can't answer his questions. I didn't think of that. Her mind goes blank with the meeting so close, she can't focus on anything. All she can think about is how Echi Hentai Love might be doomed if she messes this up. Lightheaded, she grips the edges of her desk and tries to breathe. She needs to focus on the question so things don't go wrong, but she can't. What would the investor ask? Where do things go wrong? He'll probably ask the basic questions. What differentiates Echi Hentai Love from all the other anime out there? Well, it's Hentai Love. I think there's a, there's a big difference you know, above all other animes, but it's okay. We'll let him understand. Do we have a road map? How much experience do we have? His calm voice steadies Yukari. And she takes a deep breath. She can answer those questions. Don't forget to stay calm and try not to stutter when you talk to him. Make sure you sound confident. Thanks, I'll keep that in mind. Aha. Be confident, guys. Preparation is half the battle. What do you think? If you're well prepared for this meeting, it'll be that much easier to convince him. Everything will be fine. Thank you. I'll start preparing now. She grabs a notebook and writes down the answers to the questions Shunsuke suggested. She adds a few more things to mention about Echi Hentai Love and thinks about other potential questions. I hope he doesn't ask anything too difficult. Nerves threaten to overtake her again, but her team members toss encouraging smiles her way. With another deep breath, she rehearses the answers in her mind. Confidence, preparation, she can do this. Yeah, we can do it! Alright. There's still about 20 minutes before we're supposed to meet. Maybe I arrived too early. That, that's fine. Arriving early is the best. Better be early than late though. That would give him a bad impression of me from the start. Yep. Find a seat. Thoughts of the upcoming meeting still have her on edge. So she checks through all the materials she brought to make sure she didn't forget something. Everything is there. She runs over the questions again in her mind and then checks her show social media networks to relax. After a little while, a man dressed in a business suit and carrying a briefcase enters the restaurant. Hikari's mouth goes dry. Must be him. A briefcase? Why Why a briefcase? He waves and he approaches her table. Yukari? Yes? He takes a seat across from her and smiles. She breathes a little easier. It's good to meet you. How is the development of Echi Hentai Love going? 
Although her heart hammers against her chest, her practice dancers spring to her lips. We're doing great. Next week, we're going to start the animation work. However, we'll soon run out of funds, which is why I've been looking for investors. Well, the idea of Echi Hentai Love intrigues me. I discussed it with my company last week and we might be interested in investing in it. Could you tell me more details about Echi Hentai Love? Of course. Echi Hentai Love follows the only male member of a high school science club. In addition to the romantic elements, we place a strong emphasis on comedy. The female characters all love science and they like to conduct experiments. Unfortunately, their experiments tend to lead to trouble. Interesting. Stories involving science are popular right now, you know, especially if they could go into scientific fields. Really? Then Echi Hentai Love should be great. Although they get into a lot of trouble, the girl's interest in science is inevitably shown as a good thing. Watch your current progress. Yukari makes a mental note to thank Shansuke again if this works out. Also, these are the questions she went over in her mind. Nothing too difficult so far. We're currently in between writing scenarios for the episodes and working on production for Echi Hentai Love. The art is coming along nicely and we'll begin outsourcing the animation soon. Do you have a schedule drafted up? Yes, I brought her schedule with me. Yukari opens her bag and finds the documents she brought. He passes them to the investor. He scans the documents and smiles. It looks like you plan things out very well for Echi Hentai Love. It looks promising. He opens his briefcase and pulls out a paper, which he hands to Yukari. Her breath catches in her throat as she takes it. I thought it was, I thought it was a briefcase full of money. Huh, she looks a little worried for some reason. I had a hunch I'd be pleased with your team, so I brought the contract along with me. Take your time to read it, you can sign it now or later, whichever you prefer. Yes, they did it. They got an investor interested. Yukari can barely contain her excitement. She wants to scream and jump in the air for joy. However, she still needs to appear professional, so she clears her door and speaks in a voice much calmer than how she feels. Thank you, I'll look it over now. She reads the com contract carefully. It seems like a pretty good deal with nothing she needs to think about or consult the team on. Gotta, gotta read those uh, fine details. Very, very carefully. When she reaches the end, she gives it one final skin and then signs it. Wonderful, I expect to see great things from Edgy and I love. I'll check on your progress from time to time. It's been a pleasure doing business with you. Thank you, I'm happy to work with you too. We'll make Edgy and I love an experience people won't forget. Oh, I bet. I bet. I have a meeting soon, so I need to leave now unless there's something else you wanted to discuss. That's everything for now. Have a good day. You as well. Goodbye. The moment he's out the door, Yukari pulls out her phone and texts her friends to let them know what happened. Replies come almost immediately. Everyone wants to celebrate with a feast. You certainly can't argue with that. Even after they ate. Alright Yukari, that was amazing. Now we can focus on producing Echi Hentai Love. Congratulations! How did you convince him? Were the questions hard? Were you nervous? I'll see, I was pretty nervous, but the questions he asked me weren't too difficult. From there, everything worked out. Looks at Shunsuke. Thank you again for suggesting questions he might ask. Anytime. Now we have funding. What did it feel like when we handed you the contract? Very surreal. He laughs. Part of me still can't believe it really happened. Not everyone gets a chance to talk with investors like you did, especially not as young as you are. I knew you could do it. Let's not get ahead of ourselves though. We're, we've solved our funding problem, but we still have our other important issues to take care of. Not over yet. Still with the afternoon success, she feels like she can handle anything. Mayumi and Shansuke, we need to discuss outsourcing work for Echi Hentai Love. You go and Sumiko, you should continue working on the arts. So we'll meet our schedule for Echi Hentai Love. What will you be talking about? Delegating tasks and going over any potential concerns. Sounds interesting, I wish I could help. Just because you aren't involved with this doesn't mean you can't help. Your art is one of the most important things we need right now. That's right. I mean, they can't, you know, 
be any anime or any hentai with, uh, you know, without art. Yugo nods. She and Sumiko head back to their desk to work on the art for Echi Hentai Love. Yukari returns her attention to the other two. Have either of you had experience with hiring freelancers? Silence. Right, so we're all greenhorns. That makes it more likely things will go wrong without us noticing. Oh, I'm sure it won't be that bad. But there's nothing wrong with preparing for the worst. That's true. For now, let's delegate tasks. Mayumi, as a sound editor, you should be in charge of everything related to our audio. In particular, we need to hire voice actors and find a suitable studio where we can record our script, as well as the opening and ending song. Okay, I can do that. That leaves animation work in handling matters at the studio. I don't have any expertise when it comes to animation, so I'll manage the studio. I'll let you know if anything important happens. Okay, then I'll supervise the outsourced animation work. This arrangement seems pretty good. Once I start composing the music for Echi Hentai Love, though, I'll need some help. Composing takes a lot of time, so I won't be able to supervise all the recording sessions after that. Hmm... Who do you think should take over supervising? You. Me? But I don't know a lot about music, how I know if it's going well or not. Don't worry, you can attend a few recording sessions with me, and I'll make sure you learn what to listen for. Besides, you have the clearest picture of what Echi Hentai Love should be like. You'll know if the music doesn't sound right. Just remember, you should be quirky and upbeat. Quirky and upbeat, gotcha. Yukari smiles. Alright, is there anything else we need to discuss? Not that I know of. Nope. Great, now I'll see everyone tonight for dinner. Yay! I hereby call tonight's We Got Funded celebration to order. Everyone laughs. For once, no one talks about problems or worries. They have an investor in etchy hentai love seems closer to becoming a reality than ever before. It's a night for celebration and relaxation. As Yukari looks around at her team members, she feels better than she has in weeks. Oh, I almost forgot. Once you hear what happened to me the other day? Ooh, what? You know what? Sumiko, they don't want to hear the story. Yes, they do. No, they don't. Look at them, they're practically on the edge of their seats. Everyone, trust me, you don't want to hear the story. Now you're making me curious. Ah, see? He shoots her sister a triumphant look. Yugo just shakes her head and turns her attention to her meal as the story begins. Yugo and I went shopping for groceries on our way home. We had to buy a lot, we took the bus instead of walking home. Well, the bus was really crowded, so we couldn't find two seats together. Guess who I sat by? A celebrity? Someone who knew about Echi Hentai Love? An old friend you haven't seen in years? Wrong, wrong, and wrong. An interplanetary traveler. Huh? For a long moment, no one speaks. They just stare at Sumiko while Yugo covers her face and looks like she wants to disappear. Yugo runs over the words in her mind and tries to make sense out of them. At least Shinsuke breaks the silence with a tentative yes. So, an astronaut? Not exactly. See, he was abducted by aliens a few months ago, but they became his friends. Now he gets to go on trips through space, underwater too. Have you ever heard of USOs? What? No. It was the worst bus trip of my entire life. Everyone was quiet except for this conspiracy theorist guy and my sister. I wanted to pretend I didn't know her. But she couldn't because I still had half of our groceries. <laughs> Exchange glances and laugh. Do you believe in aliens, Sumiko, and you don't, Yugo? Right. It's good to know one of you has common sense. Thanks. I wasn't talking about you. You two are very different, aren't you? Took you this long to figure it out? No, but you're so close. It's nice to see people who don't let their differences drive them apart. We are sisters, after all. I'd do anything for Sumiko. Aww. Here she gets into embarrassing conversations on the bus. Now, Sumiko, let me explain to you why aliens can't possibly exist. Well, you can't possibly know that, Shunsuke. There, there, there's no evidence that they don't exist. Is there, Shunsuke? Oh, brother, this ought to be good. As a debate, Yukari leans back in her seat and smiles to herself. The group has come a long way since the beginning. Hmm. I mean, there's bacteria. There's, there's probably bacteria out in this space. Doesn't mean it has to be... You know, the life form doesn't have to be intelligent, right? So that means that there are aliens out there, so yeah. That's that's what I say, it's aliens. 
first she worried they might clash when they work together, but they've turned into a cohesive team. Someday she hopes they all have a bond as strong as the one shared by Sumiko and Yuko. Ooh. Another weekend arrives and Yuko already decides to. Wait, we have a... We only have $32. Hmm. So read books on management, relax, raise additional funds? So we did the course on management before, right? I think we need to polish up on these storyboards. But we need to relax. We did get monies, but... If we raise additional funds, we can actually... do more upgrades and outsource a lot of the stuff. Let's do that. Just because they have one investor doesn't mean they can relax completely. Kari runs through our meeting with the investor and writes down the aspects of Echi Hentai Love he seemed the most pleased with. Spends the rest of the weekend contacting more potential investors with a rewritten pitch highlighting the project's greatest strengths. Ooh, 47 dollars. Alright, let's save. Alright, so, anime status? Voice acting and OP and editing. Or ending. Huh. We do need more story stuff, we do need more music. Remember status? Stress is really high, we need to relax for her. So let's, uh, relax. Okay, happiness. Well, happiness is uh, a bit down for Yuko, so I think we might need to actually have her. Did we? I mean, stress will go up, right? Yeah, I think we need her to relax as well. Um, the Mayumi. Ayumi can increase. Ayumi needs to. I think compose more. Compose some music. Or a uh, proficiency. No, compose music. And. Insuke is very happy, stress, low, proficiency, same. So. I think writing would be fine. Sumiko, we didn't see Sumiko. Happiness, stress. Oh, it's kind of like the same thing. Let's see. Design. I think it would be good for her to. Let's see. Let's see. Happiness. Yes, Dudo. We'll draw backgrounds, actually. And then we can. Now we can doodle in the outsource, OP and editing, voice acting, and where's the other one that was really low? Yeah, we need to do some storyboards soon. Uh, OP, editing, voice acting, and I think that's good for now. Animation, because. I think animation. Yeah, let's outsource that. Then upgrades. Let's see the anime stuff. I think I think he needs to uh, improve on his. Yeah, improve on his writing a bit. Just think, just to, to you know continue with the stuff. I think that's good. Yeah, stress, happiness, ooh, yeah. Alright, I think we're done. Woo, this is getting a little bit stressful now. I just realized it's been one month since we started working on Echi Hentai Love. One month, really? We still have about two more months left to go before our deadline. Can't wait for the day we can see Echi Hentai Love on air. I know, right? It'll be crazy. Before the two of you drift off to Dreamland, remember we still have plenty of work to do. Yeah, we do. Sorry, have you started looking at which studio we'll work with yet? I narrowed the list down to a couple of studios, but I'm not sure how I should get in touch with them. Should I email them or visit their offices? Why not both? You can email them first and then set up a meeting. Oh, good one. Good idea. Yes, it might confuse them if you walk in randomly. I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> yeah, probably, yeah. Plus, if you plan it with them first, you'll have an agenda set for the meeting. 
Good idea. I'll get started on it right away. Yes. Ooh, nighttime. That night, Yukari checks her email and notices some of the animation studios have sent replies. She shortlists the two most promising ones. Roto Studios is renowned for high production quality, but hiring them will come at a steep price. Okay. The high Roto Studios Edgy Hand I Love will definitely have great animations, but it night might not be worth it. There's a lot of money to devote to a single aspect of production, and the budget isn't exactly huge. On the other hand, Wiga Studio is relatively new in the industry. Although they produce a number of hit titles, their price is quite affordable. The lower price is probably due to their decline this year, after their recent works weren't well received by the public. Hmm... It could be an ideal affordable opportunity for Echi and I Love, but Koiga Studio has developed a reputation for lower production quality and missed deadlines. Ooh, ah, eek, that's not good. Edgy fans believe it will close down soon. It's a difficult decision for Yukari to make, and not one she should make alone. She sends text messages to the other team members asking which studio they think she should pick. Unfortunately, when the votes come in, it's a tie. Are you mean Yugo wants to go with Koiga's studio out of concern for their budget? Okay. Once again, Sumio thinks it saves to pick Kuroto Studios for its high quality and stability. Hmm. Kari didn't want to decide, but she has no choice. Hers is the deciding vote. Studio should she get in touch with? We do have some money, so that's good. Good thing we didn't waste that much money, right? And, I mean, Korea Studios is low money, but... Missed deadlines? I, that, that's, uh... Not really that great. Let's go with the $20 one. Kari decides to get in touch with Kuroto Studios. Working with a studio renowned for its production quality will help save them a lot more money in the long run. Yeah, it will. They will have proper procedures and guidelines during the production process, which will definitely be a great help to the inexperienced team. Best of all, it will ensure Echi Hentai Love has top-notch animation. Ooh! Wow, it says on this website that these consultants provide help on finance and legal matters, offer leadership courses and more. Ooh! Darn, your services cost more than rent for the studio. I wonder how much money we have. She checks the studio's financial records and gasps in dismay. We've already spent that much? Yeah. Not good, we need an emergency meeting. Pronto. Oopsies. Sorry, I get the impression you didn't call us here for a fun meal. You got that right, we have a huge problem. Big problem. At the rate we're spending our money, we won't be able to stay afloat until production. I, I mean, I, uh, I, mm. I, we had to outsource some of the stuff and, and upgrade, uh, you know, Shinsuke to do more writing stuff. Hmm. What should we do? Making money isn't easy. Oh, there are a lot of ways we can earn money. Such as? Well, uh, bake sale. I already have a suggestion in mind. Hmm. Everyone should chip in so we have more money to fall back on. Or continue business as usual for the time being and be spontaneous. What does that even mean? Hmm. If we do this, it will put some stress on Yuko and Yumiko. Continue business as usual for the time being? I mean, I think we can. Hmm. And plus, this will help entire. Like, it'll. Uh, I think this should be okay. That's the best way for our students to carry on in a financially stable manner. You're asking a lot, but I'm with you all the way. Yeah, I want to see this project through to the end. Sparing some personal expenses is a sacrifice I'm willing to make. I agree. Oh, thank goodness. Oh my gosh. Okay. Whew. It might be our only chance to meet our deadline, so count me in. Thanks, everyone. We'll definitely see Echi Hentai Love come to fruition. Ooh. Oh man, okay. Thank goodness. So which animation studio did you pick? Roto Studios. I'll be heading over there later with Mayumi for a consultation. Eh? I thought we were only picking which studios to work with. No one told me anything about going to visit them. Well, uh, w we told you right now. I was planning to tell you later. Why do you want me to go there with you? What difference does it make? Isn't it obvious? I feel more at ease when you were with me. I thought you were getting good at this stuff. Look at how you... Clenched the deal with the investor last week. That was an exception. I got lucky, and this time it involves dealing with a lot more people. I'll feel a lot better if you come with me. Please. 
Okay, okay, I'll go with you if it makes you more confident. Yeah! While we're gone, it'll be a good time for Sumiko and Yuko to familiarize themselves with the storyboards. Can I leave that up to you, Shinsuke? Should I have a good idea of how things should flow? Since we worked on the storyboards for Echi, Hentai Love together. Of course, you just focus on making sure the meeting with Kuroto Studios is a success. Oh, so I'm pretty sure that's what the beginning choice was. Uh, in the first episode where you get that first choice of doing the storyboard or the art. I think it actually kind of starts choosing sides more or less. So maybe Shinsuke wouldn't be here if we chose the art one and Yuko and Sumiko would be here instead. Interesting. Remember not to panic. That's not as easy as you think, but I'll try my best. Yukari gathers the documents she wants him to take to Kuroto Studios, double checks that everyone knows what they're doing, and heads out with Mayumi. Hmm. So where's the studio anyway? Is it that blue building in the middle? Hmm? The studio, where is it? Oh, it's... She trails off. She'd rather not admit that she was so nervous about setting up the meeting and preparing for it. She forgot to check the address. Well, you can check it on your phone. She looks around for inspiration and her gaze lands on the cafe doors. Hey, do you want to grab a bite to eat on the way? Huh? I'm sure if we have time. Wait here. Kara leaves her on the sidewalk and runs into the cafe. Oh. Ah, one of my customer customers. What can I do for you? I'd like to order something quick we can take on the go. But that's not important right now. Do you know how to get to Kuroto Studios? Yes, actually. Make a left at the corner and then... Yukari. Ah, well, when did you get here? I thought you- I told you to wait. You're acting weird, so I followed you. Right, well, I was just, uh... Raises her voice and gives the cafe manager a meaningful look. That's right, we'd love to try our newest flavor of donuts. What about the directions to Karoto Studios? Some people don't know how to take a hint. Oh, Yukari. Look at it this way. We know where we're going, and we have food. What could be better? Couldn't you have checked it on your phone? I mean... Right? Knowing where to go from the start. Come on, it's this way. Are you sure you aren't going to send it barn into a store shouting that you need to buy something? Very funny, let's go. Ooh! That's weird, why isn't anyone at the reception desk? She looks around for any sign of life and can't help but be impressed. This place is exquisite. Our studio looks dull in comparison. Well, they have enough fun to splurge on designing their workplace. It's not like we can. She trails off. Ayumi? Wait, look at those nandoroids. What are those? Run to the reception desk where five nandoroid figurines sit. They're so adorable. I don't know. They look pretty generic to me. Are you crazy? Let me guess. You'll buy them on the internet later? Old habits die hard. This is why your room doesn't have enough space. <laughs> you don't appreciate Nendoroids enough. Footsteps echo from deeper within the studio. Someone must be finally be coming. A few seconds later, the door behind the reception desk opens. Hello, what brings you to Kuroto Studios today? Oh, I see you've taken a liking to those Nandoroids. They're from Grim Grim, which is our most popular anime series so far. Yes, I love them. This is a special set produced for us, so they're not for sale, in case you were hoping to purchase them. Aw, what a letdown. Back to the matter at hand, what brings the two of you here today? Do you have an appointment with someone? My name is Yukari, we're here to discuss a potential partnership with Kuroto Studios. As mentioned in the email I sent you yesterday. Ah, so you're the one who me emailed us. I expected someone older. Both of you look like you got out of high school not too long ago. That's right. We did graduate recently, but we decided to take some time to work on an anime called Echi Hentai Love. Unusual though maybe, you seem to know your stuff well despite your age. Please give me a moment while I call Takeshi. He'll discuss the details with you. Oh, hello. Well, hello there. I've been expecting you, Yukari. My name is Takeshi and I'm the director of Kuroto Studios. He reaches out and Yukari shakes his hand. Nice to meet you. My team is currently producing an anime series and we'd like to work with you on the animation. Ah, yes. He leads her to a small table where they can sit and talk. I'm looking forward to learning about your project. Here is a general outline of Echi Hentai Love and what we'll need from you. Yukari unzips her bag and takes out the relevant documents. She passes them to Takeshi, who takes a brief look through the pages. Very clear and concise. I like the way your team works. Thank you. 
Do you have any animation samples that we can use as a reference? Um, yes. Aren't they in the documents I gave you? The director looks through the pages again. I can't find them. Tori's breath hitches. She somehow forgot them, but no, she couldn't have. She remembers picking them up before she left. Hold on, let me check my bag. She researches her bag and finds another stack of papers. With a sigh of relief, she strains and holds them out. Woo, thank goodness. Here are the animation samples. Sorry about that. Yeah, she looks them over. Perfect. This will do as a reference. However, if you choose to work with us, I'd like you to make your storyboards clear. Yeah, I know I send um I I send Shunsuke to uh yeah to get you know increase on his stuff. At the moment they feel vague. We'll need a better idea of the direction the episode should take. Got it, no problem. Now, are there any questions you'd like to ask us? Nothing at the moment. We'll get in touch soon with our decision. Thank you for your time. Woo! So, tell me again why you needed me to come along. Oh, better just knowing you were by my side. Seriously, sometimes I wonder about you. Aww. Next day, Yukari takes a look at the storyboards. They seem fine to her. Then, Suke, do you have a minute? Sure, what is it? The director from Kuroto Studios said I need to make the storyboards clear. What do you think is wrong with them? Hmm. Do you guys see anything wrong with this? Hmm. There's no freaking freaking notes on, on what, what people are gonna say. Hmm. Hmm. I don't see a problem with them either, but then again, we're looking at it from our perspective. What do you mean? We know everything about Echi and I love, so we know exactly what we're looking at. He doesn't because he's seeing it for the first time. I include more details so it's clear without prior knowledge of Echi Hentai love. If you need to write some notes on the storyboard to get your idea across, go ahead and do it. Just write on the storyboards? Why not? That should clear up his confusion. Woo! Nice. I like the way you think. I'll start editing the storyboards now. Thanks. Anytime. Yukari spends some time working on the storyboard. Between Sunsuke's advice and some input from Mayumi, she feels she's at the right track. Yeah! As guitar rips fill the air, Mayumi stops to listen to the musician, eyes bright with excitement. Wow, he's pretty good. Oh no, he's only gotten a few donations. Either this neighborhood doesn't appreciate guitar music or they don't like supporting street performers. But we do, right? Uh, we just... I mean... Uh, we only have 35 dollars. Uh, uh, hmm... Okay, it can't be that much, right? Oh, eh, but it'd be the nice thing to do. So yeah. Ayumi beams as Yukari approaches the guitarist. The guitarist plays another song accordingly. Wow, that really is good. Can't wait for work tomorrow. I have so many new ideas. Hooray! Oh, yes. Okay, so that, that helped out. Yes. Well, unless anyone objects to working with Kuroto Studios, I guess I should head over there. He glances at Mayumi. Yes, I guess you should. Come with me. You'll be fine. Yeah, because I mean, Mayumi didn't really say anything. But... You were fine last time, don't worry so much. Okay, I guess you're right. She checks to make sure no one on the team needs her for anything before she leaves, and then she heads to the animation studio. This time, the staff member sits waiting at the reception desk. He smiles when Yukari enters. Oh, it's, oh, it's a guy. One moment. I'll let Takeshi know you're here. Yukari clasps her hands and wrists in front of her, and admires the nandoroids Mayumi likes so much to calm her nerves. She only has to wait a minute. Hello, Yukari. Well then, has your team decided upon a studio to work with for Echi Hentai Loves Animation? Well, yes, you. It's an unexpected question since Yukari never reached out to any other studio besides Kuroto Studios. Then again, he'd have no way of knowing that. Uh, well, we shouldn't tell him, because we, we decided to choose him. Yes, we decided to work with Kuroto Studios. I'm happy to hear that. If you'll wait here a minute, I'll get the contract for our work. Ooh. For the brief moment, the door is open. Yukari hears faint voices, but once the door closes behind him, it's as silent as when she and Mayumi first visited. Ooh, some soundproof doors. Can't help but question her decision to work with Kuroto Studio. High quality comes with a high price. Hmm. That is true. And, uh, you know, quality... Quality is really good. 
you definitely need to make sure there aren't extra revisions for the animation work or they'll be out on the streets in no time. Even the initial work will push the budget. Sorry to keep you waiting, here is a contract for our partnership. I recommend you take a look, good look at it. Since you're new to the anime business, you don't want to miss critical details in the contract. Oh yeah, we will definitely look at that. He hands over the contract to Yukari. She stares at it overwhelmed. It's a huge contract and it looks complicated. The director is right. She can't afford to overlook important details. Read it over carefully and let my receptionist know when you are ready. Thank you. Yukari begins to read the contract. Our way through, she decides to call Mayumi. Her friend knows more about legal matters than she does. Man, she should have came then. Yukari gets out her phone and dials Mayumi's number. Hello? I'm at Kuroto Studios now. Mind if I go over the contract with you? Go ahead. She reads the contract out loud. Mayumi asks her to repeat a few of the more complicated clauses. But she makes the puzzles take even longer than expected. She should have came. Along the way, she clarifies some of the language and calms Yukari's concerns. Is that the end of the contract? Yes, finally. Her mouth is dry from speaking so much about the contract to Mayumi. Okay, it sounds like Kuroto Studios has offered us a really good contract. Good luck and go ahead and sign the papers. Thanks, you're a lifesaver. Hooray! She hangs up and approaches the reception desk. Would you like let the director know I'm ready to sign the contract? Yes, one minute. The uh, Yukari is ready. Wonderful, is everything in order then? Yes, I'm quite happy with the contract. He signs it and returns it to the director. Thank you. I'll be back tomorrow with the revised storyboards and all the documents you'll need to start working on Echi Hentai Love. That sounds fine. I'll see you tomorrow then. Hooray! In case anyone forgot, I went back to Kuroto Studios yesterday to sign the contract. I'll be heading over there to later to provide them with the storyboards they need to start anim animating the first episode of Echi Hentai Love. Yugo, Sumiko, since they'll be sharing the workload with you, do you have any questions about the arrangements? Well, I mostly draw static backgrounds and am fine with those. But for complex animated backgrounds, I'll need your, their help, not to experience with those kind of scenes. Okay, got it. What about you, Yugo? Is it possible for me to check their completed work? I want to make sure the animation is consistent throughout the episodes. Alright! Plus, I'd like to communicate with them directly to make sure we're on the right track. Plus, it would be cool to talk to people in the industry. Maybe I'll pick up new skills from them. Ooh! I really liked one of the series they animated last season. Provide me with a lot of inspiration. Oh! Wait, then why, why were you talking about Koiji before? Her enthusiasm surprises Yukari. Rare to hear Yugo talk so much. Of course, I'll let you check their work. After all, you're our character designer. You have the best eye for picking out any inconsistencies. As for direct communication, I'll talk to them about it. Don't get your hopes up too high, though, since I'm not sure whether they'll like the idea. Oh, right. I didn't think about that. I was too excited. Don't worry about it. I'll ask anyway. Yeah, here we go. Let's just head back to their desk and return to work while Yukari gathers up the documents she'll need to take to Kuroto Studios later. Tending to find and organize everything gives her a headache. What a mess. I need to clean up all our files for actually hentai love soon. And take so much time just to find the character designs. I better show them to Yuko for a final check. Better safe than sorry. That's right. Yukari files them neatly into a folder and hurries over to Yuko's desk. Uh oh. Uh oh, it's not good. All the papers are gonna fly everywhere, and that little wormhole is gonna open up, and some alien tentacle monster is gonna come out. Yari bumps into Sumiko, and the folder falls from her hands. The papers fall out all across the floor. No, it took me so long to arrange them properly. Now I have to organize them again, and I was about just about to head to Kuroto Studios. I'm sorry. No, I'm not blaming you. You're standing still after all. It's my fault for not paying attention to where I was walking. So clumsy sometimes. Come on, I'll help you. Me too. Three of them work together to pick up the scattered pieces of paper and file them again. Aww. This is exhausting. I hate paperwork. No one here likes it. It's a necessary evil. Yeah, I don't think anyone likes paperwork. You want to take a look at the documents I'm going to send to Kuroto Studios? That's what I was going to ask about. Can we all check it together a few days ago? It'll be fine. Well, if you say so. She turns to Yuko in case the artist disagrees with her sister, but stops in surprise when she sees Yuko's computer screen. What are these? Yukari points the thumbnail images displayed at the side of Yuko's screen. They look similar to our characters. 
What? That's nothing. Your blush diminishes her attempt to sound casual. Now I'm even more curious. Yuko dives for a computer chair, but Yukari beats her to and grabs a mouse. She opens the mysterious images. These are sketches of the protagonist? But there are so many. I didn't know he was that difficult to design. Here are the side characters too. That was I thought it just took a few iterations to get the proper designs. There's no point in showing my work to you if I'm not satisfied with it, and I always show it to Sumiko for a second opinion too. If a design doesn't pass our standards, I put it in this folder in case I need to use it again. Usually they stay here, I'm checking them out again to see how much progress I've made. Now stop looking at them, they should never appear in public. Haha, uh -huh, don't worry, I was just curious, that's all. Doesn't get why it's such a big deal. The early sketches aren't that bad. Nevertheless, she stands up and surrenders the computer to Yuko, who quickly closes the folder. Aww. Hello. Is Takeshi here? I brought the storyboards for our first episode. One moment. Hello, Yukari. The adjustments for the storyboard are finished, I presume? Yes. The more detail now in the direction of these scenes should be clear, too. Takes the storyboards out from her bag and passes them to the director. That sounds perfect. All we will need now are the remaining details. The character designs, the scenario, the script, and anything else you think will help us. Ooh, okay. Character designs, scenario, and script. Okay. Is it alright if I bring those things by on Monday? That will be fine. Great, see you then. Woo! It's dinner time again. Once again, everyone is high in spirits as they gather together. We celebrated last week, but I think a second celebration is in order. Not only do we have an investor, but now we've made a deal with Kuroto Studios. It's almost overwhelming. I know, Echi Hentai Love has gone from a dream to something that's really happening. Have you guys thought about what you do if Echi Hentai Love is successful? I honestly have, haven't spent too much time worrying about what I'll do if it fails. Me too. Well, it's time you to imagine a positive future instead. Yukari, you want to keep directing anime, right? Well, yes, it's my dream. The Veggie Hentai Love is a hit. We start working on the sequel. I get it. Veggie Hentai Love franchise. Here we come. Oh my gosh. The franchise. Yes. Would a sequel be possible? Don't ask me. Ask the writer. Everyone looks towards Shunsuke, who folds his arms. Everyone looks towards Shunsuke, who folds his arms. Why, why did that repeat? What sort of ridiculous question is that? Of course a sequel is possible. Do you, do you already have ideas for one? I always have ideas for sequels. That's why I started writing fanfiction, you know? My favorite series ended and I wanted to know what happened next. If no one official was going to write, I decided to do it myself. I know what you mean. That's one of the reasons I started drawing. Huh? Since when? Yumiko and her friends were working on a manga, but some of the most interesting moments were off panel. That frustrated me, so I drew those scenes myself. I thought that was your way of saying you wanted to join us. That's why I invited you to help. I did. The missed potential in your manga was driving me crazy. <laughs> Whatever. So what are your sequel ideas, Sansuke? Well, since Echi Hentai Love is only two episodes long, I consider it more like a two-part pilot. If the story continues, the school administration will threaten to shut down the science club for unknown reasons. Oh, great, unknown reasons. We have big hopes for our future. Don't you? I suppose I do. Lift your glass. Come on, everyone. Let's make Sensuke's sequels possible. Yay! What shall Yukari do this weekend? Well... Hmm... Well, we did relax. Kind of worked up on life skills. Life skills? What's life skills? I think life skills might be good though. E Whatever life skills is, it's not management, right? So, life skills? Workshop largely goes over stuff Yukari has heard time and time again. But on the other hand, it gives her a few new ideas for managing the team's time and resources and for being an effective leader. Oh, that's what life skills is. Um, I thought it was something different. I don't. I don't want that. Actually, I. I, I don't want that. Let's um. Let's spend the weekend with our friends, and you know, release their tension and stress. Sorry, calls up some of her friends from high school. 
Part of the weekend, they go to the park to enjoy the nice weather, and then they spend the rest of it catching up with one another. What? I thought we were working with friends. Uh, our fr uh, oh, ah, uh, not what I wanted. Well, all right. Well, we, well, let's go with that. Hmm. Let's see. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna end the episode here then. Of course. Wow, that's a long. That was this is a long episode. I just looked at the time. Jeez. But anyways, oh, we're in week six. Uh, I think there's 12 weeks exactly. So, oh, I'm excited. I'm super duper excited, everybody. Uh, to see where this is gonna lead. Oh yeah. So if you guys enjoyed this episode of Anime Studio Simulator, then please slime that like button and subscribe down below for more awesome videos. Thank you everybody for watching this episode and you will hear me in the next one. Goodbye.